biosignals. I'll help you reconstruct the hollow path and quickly locate the trapped personnel. Exploration route information updated. The trapped workers have been located. Data shows they are in an unsafe environment. The rescue must be carried out as soon as possible. Name tag verified. This is a Carrot data from investigator receipt. Exploration data updated. Scan here for nearby hollow data. Displaying new areas to explore. Exploration route one floor above updated. Valve status analyzed. The lock is not smart tech. Rescuing the targets, return to this evacuation point. I have detected vital signs of non-association data state. Warning, excessively large transactions are usually also Exploration data updated Bell, let's check out the location the Hollow Reader gave us That's an area the HDD system can't scan. Scan for hollow data here too. Displaying new areas to explore. Exploration route one floor above updated. Let's try using this carrot data. Displaying new areas to explore. New exploration routes detected in the hollow's upper level. Reached work ID 158630. The trapped worker has been moved to. After rescuing the targets, return to this evacuation point.
Shield right. We have reached work ID. The trapped worker has gone to a We have reached the trap work ID. One. Ouch! That hurt! I've never been struck by a bang boo before. Sorry, I'm getting out of this hollow right now. We found all the survivors. Time to evacuate. The trapped workers have... Oh, Belle. Good timing. Come here. What kind of weird ritual is this? You mean these bags? They're full of broken signal transmitters that came from Bang Boo. When put together, they're equivalent to several low-frequency signal jammers. With these, we can talk freely without worrying about Big Brother over there. Yeah, I mean that AI, Fairy. We need to have a serious talk about her. Hmm, I wanted to talk to you about her too. I thought with her calling you master all the time, she'd have you fooled. But seeing your utter lack of surprise makes me feel relieved. It's been a while since we let Fairy participate in our proxy work, and she's independently calculated all the escape paths you've used in the hollows lately. I'm sure you've noticed. She didn't depend on any local data, nor did she ask for any support. But she's still 270 times faster than us when generating escape paths. It's not like she doesn't need any hollow data. She does. 
It's just that she can access the data she needs almost instantly. Remember how she mentioned she can access over 80% of the smart devices in the city? Looks like she was telling the truth. So, if we could only glimpse a corner of the hollow before, now thanks to her, we can see the entire thing. But... Ethan's proxy account is gone! Even if we become better proxies ourselves, it'll be hard to get back to the level we were before. <sighs> that is really important. But right now I want to talk about this fairy problem. Fairy's powers are something the elites of New Eridu would all kill for. This is way too hot for us to handle. And when she forced you to become her master, she said that you should bide your time and wait for the opportunity to complete the agreement with her, but refuse to reveal anything further. It's definitely not that simple. But if we can make use of her abilities, we might finally get some leads on what we've been investigating. Our teacher's lifelong dream just might... Yeah. Anyway, we need to figure out where Fairy came from. There's no rush, of course. Let's take it slow. At least she's really good at staying hidden, so we don't need to worry about hackers like last time. Didn't you ask the Cunning Hares to help investigate all this? How's that coming along? There's not been much progress, I'm afraid. Nicole got the Strongbox mission from an anonymous subcontractor. They didn't get to meet anyone related to the commission. She says she was going to try looking into the Red Fang Gang a few days ago, but I've not heard back since. I doubt they'll find anything concrete. Let's just hope that they don't get themselves into any trouble. <laughs> They're good at making mountains out of molehills. Anyway, that's about everything I wanted to say about Fairy. You've been so busy improving our reputation on the proxy network and running the video store lately. Let's just chill out and watch some TV tonight. After the fall of the old capital, a number of damaged metro lines severely hindered the accessibility and urban development of New Eridu. <laughs> Correct. But Vision always looks to the future. Take a look. The tunnel from New Eridu to the demolition zone has been completely consumed by that very dead end hollow. So we decided to use a special train to transport the explosives through the hollow. We were very careful to avoid any ethereals and finally managed to transport most of the explosives to the demolition zone. I really wanted to show you around, but to avoid signal interference with the blast, we've had... <laughs> That's right! That's the vision of the Vision Corporation. The well-being of everyone in New Era. As we had mentioned a few months ago, the Vision Corporation won the contract for the old Capital Metro renovation project. Our special correspondent tried to contact those involved at Bellabog, but was unable to conduct an interview. Mr. Perlman, do you have anything to say about this victory over the rising star Bellabog? In so, can you tell us the secret behind your reduced project costs? Mr. Perlman, we're live right now. What Mr. Perlman means is there's no question of improper cost reduction relating to Vision Corporation. We welcome- The construction site is near a hollow, and they had to relocate all those people. Alert! Street cameras have identified an unknown person approaching the store at high speed. Opening the door. Little late for a meowing now. 
Welcome to Sixth Street's greatest video store. Would you like to sign up for a membership? It's a great value. You make your money back after just three rentals. Uh, sounds like a good deal. But the place I'm staying at doesn't have a projector. Uh, now's not the time! I know, you're faithin'. I've got a prophecy commission for you. You must be mistaken. As you can see, we're just a normal video store. Wait! You don't have to worry about me. My name is Nicomada. Nicole told me to come. I'm not a baddie. <laughs> I'm not sure who you're talking about. I'm pretty positive you've got the wrong place. Nicola, the Cunning Hairs! The leader of the Odd Job Agency, the Cunning Hairs! Look! This is her Bang Boo! This is proof, right? That certainly is the Bang Boo Nicole usually has with her. Did Nicole really send you? Where are they now? The place they just mentioned in the news! Vision's Blast Zone! That guy said there was no one inside, but... Would it be weird if I wasn't even surprised? Do they have a good reason for being at Vision's construction site? They're looking for something! My commission! The Red Fang Gang are causing trouble! There's been several fights! And so many people! Oh, I can't do that! Take it easy. It sounds like you're talking about a huge sale at a shopping center or something. Um, well, I don't know where to start. Right! Nicole's Big Boo! It's got the visual data from the past few days. Just have a look. You'll get what I mean. Unfortunately, only its owner, or the manufacturer of the Marcel Group, has access to its visual data. Beep. Perhaps... Fairy knows a way? What's that? Fairy? Uh, no. Nothing like that here. <clears throat> fairy? Do you have any way to read the Bangboo data? Question. Is the request to convert this Bangboo's visual recording in- ah, Who's talking? Is there someone else here? That's just our newly installed virtual assistant. So, Fairy, can you do it? Processing Bangboo visual data for the last several days. Please say, I'm stupid. I should have asked sooner. I'm stupid. I should have turned you off sooner. Fairy, the rest is up to you. Establishing Bangboo connection and reading visual data. <laughs> data read complete. Commencing playback. Whoa, you've got an image. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the name of the Stop! <laughs> Don't move! <laughs> okay, okay, I won't move. Take it easy, you two. Breathe in, breathe out. You're risking it all on a mistake. Don't you think you should try thinking for yourself? Show us the money first. Left four, right seven. It'll open when you hear the click. Street Kid Rule Number One Never Trust a Stranger <laughs> And you thought you could take something from me Street Kid Rule Number Two Never Leave Your Back Open That explosion came from over here! These two idiots got taken out! You're not here to ambush me? You... You're not with the Red Fang Gang? I'm Neko Miyamana, but you can call me Neko Mata. I've got a commission for the Cunning Hairs. But before that, we need to get out of here! What's taking Nicole so long? Could she have been caught by the gang? I'm confident in Nicole's adaptability, but considering we're being targeted by the Red Fang Gang, think- Ugh, that's right. If it weren't for the manager commissioning us to look into the strong box, I really wouldn't want to go anywhere near these guys' turf again. Billy, do you really have a cold? 
If you hadn't sneezed earlier and exposed our position, we wouldn't have been forced to split up. Um, the machine oil I'm using now has low fluidity in the cold, so some of my gears are starting to run slow. You're cold because I bet you weren't wearing enough last night while watching Oh, Sweetie. Uh, Nicole. Boss, you alright? Why are you coming from the direction of the hollow? Oh, and who is this kitten? Name's Nekomata, your new client. Oh, that's our boss for you! Finding work at a time like this! Such a role model! Did you approach Nicole yourself? Don't worry, Andy. If it weren't for Nekomata, I'd still be trapped in the Red Fang Gang's territory. Yeah, come on now. Don't be nervous. I'm on your side. There's something I need to get back from the Red Fang Gang. Several years ago, the Red Fang Gang's leader, Miguel Silver, took an heirloom from my family. I infiltrated their territory to get it back. But I haven't managed it yet! So what you mean is, you want us to get your family heirloom back for you? Hmm, yeah, that won't be easy. The Red Fang Gang might be a mess right now, but as you saw earlier, they've got it in for us because of Silver's death. But let's just say our well-being is not <laughs> their biggest priority. That heirloom is really valuable! <laughs> I'm willing to pay 30% of its value as your remuneration. Just how much is it worth exactly? Nicole, sorry for interrupting. Considering how dangerous the job is, I think it'd be better to confirm the sincerity of the client rather than- My sincerity is as boundless as mackerel at an unlimited mackerel buffet! Is that so? But in movies, new companions appearing around the main character at times like this are always being deceitful. Later on, they might turn into scary ghosts or have monsters crawling out of them. There's no monster inside me! D do you want to touch and see? No thanks. Please don't misunderstand. I'm the one whose trust you need to earn. And be surprisingly not a cat person! <laughs> Wait a minute. I hear footsteps from that alley over there. It's the cutting hairs! <laughs> Got you! I'll take you all on! Oh, uh, wait, you're... <laughs> what? Oh, that was close. I didn't expect any Red Fang Gang members to be here. He might have ruined our plan if he made too much noise. Wow! You're good, kitten! Knock that guy out in one hit! <laughs> Not bad, right? I took out a red fang do it! I'm working hard! Billy, give her a scratch under her chin. Hanby, are you satisfied that Nekomata is sincere now? It was a clean hit, but the guy's reaction was... <sighs> he seemed to recognize her. Of course! I've been following them to get my family heirloom! I can't help if they know me by now. At the same time, I also found out about all their hideouts. From what I've seen, the Red Fang Gang has three hideouts where they store important items. And my family heirloom is probably in one of them. There's been a lot of hollow activity recently. Unfortunately, these three hideouts were all swallowed up. The Red Fang Gang doesn't have enough manpower right now, so they're all- Hmm. I have to admit, it's a good opportunity for us. All right. Nekomata, on behalf of the Cunning Hairs, I accept your commission. You've got information on the Red Fang Gang. Plus, you can fight. So, why don't you come with us for now? Sure! I want to get my family heirloom back as soon as possible! We've got a deal, then. Let's go back and get ready. We'll meet up near the Hollow later. Nekomata just messaged me. She'll be here soon. Nicole, are you really sure about this? There's something... familiar about the way she fights. But you're the one to make the call. I'll follow your lead. Andy, I understand how you feel. I was here first, or whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But either way, no skin off our nose, right? Even if the little kitten has a hidden agenda, nothing gets past me. The Red Fang Gang keeps getting in our way, so it's time to try something different. Don't forget, we still have a mission. We have to help Faithen investigate the Strongbox. No matter what Nikomata and the Red Fang Gang have going on, she's familiar with their hideouts. 
This is our chance to find out about the strong box. And not to mention the substantial commission payment. So why shouldn't we do it? You've thought of everything, boss! I'm back! Sorry for the wait. Did I miss anything? Not at all. We were just saying we should get cracking on the investigation once you're here. So let's get going? I'll show you the way. Let's check out the first hideout. We're in the hollow now. Let's be careful. Don't worry. I know this place inside and out. Just follow me. Ripping gang base is in fall. Just gotta take out a few more materials and we'll be there. What's going on? It's been hours. The pickup guys still aren't here? I'm a bounce if they aren't here soon. It's just some old gang junk. Even if we sell it outside, it won't be worth much. Even if you don't turn into an ethereal- Ah, <sighs> give it a couple of minutes. Hey, I heard another three guys ran away yesterday. We ain't the only idiots left working for this mess. Right? Eh, who knows? We weren't like this before, dude. Look at us now. We've got nothing left. Uh, Nekomara. Nekomara! No! Yeah? I called you five times. Is the old gangster gossip that juicy? What they were saying had nothing to do with your family heirloom. Yet, you were listening so intently. Is there any particular reason? That's a strange question. I'm a cat. I get distracted by things all the time. You're keeping a close eye on me, huh, Ambi? Ah, uh, forget that for now. Nicole was asking if there's any chance your family heirloom is mixed in with this old junk. I wouldn't rule it out. Those lackeys can't tell what real treasure is, after all. Great! In that case, let's go through the pile and see if there's anything valuable. Uh, uh, um, uh, see if the client's heirloom is in there. Let's roll. We can take out a few guards before the pickup arrives. Who are you? A messenger of justice! Here to recover stolen loot! Billy! We're fooling around with them! Warning! Dangerous target discovered! High on side! Wanted for the enforcer! Your skills are using their grappling to lock them down on the top! Don't get tangled with them! Knock them down quickly! Old magazine, broken ashtray. Huh? Ew! Smelly socks! Gross! 
Ugh, what on earth did these gangsters leave in their hideout? Aha! Found it! What'd you find? Nekomata's family heirloom? <laughs> Maybe. If her family heirloom is the most amazingly awesome epic shiny starlight knight emblem of the last ten years! Oh, that hurt! Consider that from Nekomata. Put that useless piece of metal back. Oh, your stupid skin's so hard. You hurt my hand. Wear a sweater next time. The kind your mom would knit you to stay warm. It wouldn't hurt him if he's wearing a thick sweater. Good point. No sweater. Um, am I supposed to thank Ambi? Nekomata, how about you? Did you find any clues? Here's something! Let's see what's in this wallet. Seems expensive. <sighs> That's my wallet. You stole it while we were going through the boxes? It seems you were too busy being salty to notice. Hmm? How odd. Why is there a picture of Nicole in your wallet? <gasps> That's a group photo. Give it back or I'll... Knock it off, you two. Andy, put the blade down. Nekomata, give the wallet back. Nekomata, we've gone through most of the stuff here, but just showing you the random valuables we find isn't working. What is your family heirloom exactly? Oh, yeah! I can't believe we forgot to ask earlier. Hmm, I might tell if you were another odd job agency. But you're the cunning hairs. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Did I hear that correctly? I checked your reputation on public forums very carefully. Your complaint rate is always in the top three. The first 50 comments all mention that the object has been damaged, or that you caused needless destruction, or stole the item. Stuff like that. Look! They even attach photos! Uh, I can't argue with that. But don't be discouraged. I totally believe in the cunning hair's ability, Mia. After all, you did me a big favor. Really? How so? I saw it on the public forums. You lured Silver into a hollow and defeated him all by yourselves. Lured and defeated? We did something that awesome? <laughs> exactly. Even big names like Silver are no match for us cutting hairs. Once we finish the commission, Billy's gonna treat you to a big dinner as a thank you to our generous client. Yay! Dinner's on the ca Wait! Why me? Hmm? Remind me, who said they wanted to treat everyone to a big meal at the Starlight Night-themed restaurant the other day? Um, all right. But we have to take a group photo of the four of us doing the Starlight Night flying kick! <sighs> Thanks for inviting me, but I'm afraid I'll have to say no. Huh? Why? I did hear that cat people only eat with people they trust. Didn't that kitty just say we did her a favor? Sorry. I must have overestimated what's between us. Any unusual habits of Thyrins you've heard about are just gossip. I'm just not very interested in superheroes. Is that so? In that case, we won't force you. Anyway, what's important is finding Nekomata's heirloom. So, let's get to the next hideout. Nekomata, lead the way.
wrong turn, did we? Are we on the right track? Why is no one here? Look, there's something burnt on the floor. It's some kind of book. No. A ledger should be important, right? Nicole never showed ours to me. Right now, the Red Fang Gang exists in name only. It'd be a wise choice to get rid of these things if the remaining people wanted to start over with a clean slate. All in all, seems like Nikamata's relic isn't here either. It's not some relic! It's a family heirloom! Why do- Okay, take a break, guys. Since it isn't here either, let's get- The guards already mentioned it. The Red Fang Gang rose to power on Canvas Street. Their last hideout is in the Dead End Hollow nearby. Just follow me! What? What did you just say? The Dead End Hollow? Boss, you know the place? Come on, you must have seen the news, right? The Vision Corporation's old metro renovation project? Aren't they shipping explosives to the blast zone through the Dead End Hollow? Ah, uh, I remember now. Vision had to go through a lot of trouble to ship the explosives because of that infamous ethereal lurking in the hollow. Exactly. I heard they even considered eliminating the Dead End Butcher to make the hollow smaller and to open up a safe route to the blasting zone. But this butcher thing is really tricky, and it's harder to kill it than to just transport the explosives through the hollow. Nekomara, you never mentioned anything about entering a hollow with an infamous ethereal in it. Uh, of course, the deposit is non-refundable. Meow? Is that so? I thought since I asked the smart, courageous, and righteous cunning hairs, who defeated the Red Fang Gang in one fell swoop? Even going into the Dragon's Den would be no big deal. <laughs> Busting the gang in one fell swoop. <laughs> Seems even the cunning hairs are afraid of the dead end butcher. Guess I'll have to hire someone else. But it's okay. My family heirloom is crazy valuable anyway, so I can definitely afford to pay their price. Let me check the offline version of a hiring form. Price from high to low. Wait! I never said anything about aborting the commission. What I meant was, we need a professional plan for such a high-risk task. Plus, the proper equipment, devices, and all sorts of other professional... Oh, I see. That means you want to increase your fee? No problem. I can increase the commission fee by 20... No, 30%. Is that enough? Okay, deal. Are you sure you want to make such a rash decision, boss? We'll just look for something in the hollow, dummy. It's not like we're gonna start fights with ethereals. All we need to do is avoid running into that dangerous dude. It's just the dead end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. No, really? Okay! I trust you can find my family heirloom now! Just the dead end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. Meow, yeah, really? Okay! I trust you can- What? You mean all those meows you add when you talk, Arnett? Okay, I've got a better idea of the situation now. You and the cunning hares were looking for the Red Fang Gang's hideouts, and that's why you went to the dead end hollow today. Master. The news channel is currently broadcasting information that is most likely closely related to the commission. Please watch it. It's been reported this self-driving vehicle is loaded with the last batch of explosives required for the demolition. There's not enough time to finish watching! We have to come up with a way to stop the explosives! Otherwise, Nicole's gonna be blown to the head! Proposal. We can intercept the train within the hollow. The outside world can't see what's going on inside, so we don't need to worry about getting caught. Right. If we infiltrate the Dead End Hollow and try to intercept the train along its route, theoretically, it's plausible. Barry, can you get the real-time location of the train? Affirmative. Calculating a safe route to the target. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We have to find a way to stop it inside the hollow.
Hello? Bell, Nikomata, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen a proxy who's able to communicate in a hollow. No wonder Nicole says you're the best in Nuiridu. Thank you for your recognition. It's time to implement our plan and intercept the train. Before that, though, let's review the essentials. No problem. I've got it down pat. Our target is Vision's train carrying the explosives. Since it's controlled by a computer in the driverless mode, we can put obstacles in certain sections to change the train's route and force it through a tunnel. Then, while the train's slowing down to go through the tunnel, I'll find a way to throw your Bing Boo on top of the train! <laughs> then it's my time to shine. That's right. Belle, your task is to enter the train through the vent on the roof and head to the driver's compartment to shut the train down. As for the dead-end butcher, we've yet to figure out its exact location. So- Roger that! Good luck, guys. Let's get started. Sinking info for route to the control room. Please enter here. Great! Let's hurry up and switch the tracks, man! Hollow ether activity is changing. Be careful. Hopefully this mutation also delays the train a little. Wait. Why do I feel like... Warning. High-risk unit detected. Please stay away. Infamous ethereal. What an intense aura. We are near the control room. I can override the controls for the track so you can alter its direction. The train will pass through this area, coming from the marker. There is a decelerator device in this area. Use it to slow down the train for a chance to board. Got it! Changing tracks now! Reminder. You can use heavy objects to weigh down the mechanism. Just put it there. That sound... Is the dead end butcher back? No. The train's coming. Master, there is a large obstacle up ahead. The original plan to stop the train requires us to pass through this obstacle. You are small, and the client is essentially a cat. are doing here? A proxy, are we going the right way? Nekomata, there's no problem with your route. Judging from how the train was damaged by external forces, it's very likely that an ethereal threw it here. <laughs> oh, that's so scary strength! Your next stop is on the other side of the train car. Do you think you can get across? If it were just me, I could probably get across. But not with the Bing Boo. And with all these sinkholes around, I don't think we could just walk around the train. Uh, um, excuse me? Who 
speaking! Is that the train car? And with a gorgeous lady voice? <gasps> Excuse me, Miss Train. We're in a rush here. Could you please scoot aside and let us wiggle past? Stop playing around, Nekomata. Someone's on the other side. It's nice to liven the mood in the midst of a tense task. But don't scare the lady over there. Excuse me? Are you investigators from the Hollow Investigative Association? What's up? Can we help you with something? Hang on a sec. Whether we're with the association or not, shouldn't we find out who this train is first? In this line of work, people usually introduce themselves. Huh? Is that right? Sorry, I didn't know the protocol. Um, my name's Corin. I work for a housekeeping company. I'm a Gemini, RH negative blood type, I like cleaning, my social security number is... Uh, you don't have to cover all the details. Anyway, how come you're in a place like this? There was a very dangerous ethereal nearby. I got separated from my companions while hiding from it. I don't have any carrot data with me. If you're investigators, then you'll know the way out of here, right? Could you please lead me out? So, she's just an ordinary person lost in the hollow, hmm? But what the heck's a lost maid doing somewhere so dangerous? What do you think? Should we help her? Not unless we can somehow break through the train car to the other side. Otherwise, to stay on time for our plan, we've got to turn back immediately and choose another route. Excuse me! Uh, sorry, I, I was listening to your conversation. Uh, are you saying if I can get you to the other side? Uh, yeah? You can get us through? Uh, almost. Hang on, I'm nearly there. You wanna go underneath? Just a maid? Sorry, uh, well, we work in many different fields, including the hollow services. Oh, right. You're in a hurry, aren't you? I can help, as long as you take me out of this hollow. Uh, please? What do you think? Now that she's helped us destroy the train car, we can move forward on our original route, right? As long as she doesn't ask any more questions. Yeah, I agree with Belle. There's nothing wrong with taking her to one of the Hollow's exits. But she's a stranger. She may be hiding things. Miss Corin, we'll let you come. Just be sure to stay quiet along the way, okay? Okay. Good! Let's press on then!
Could you help us move something heavy? The goal is to use it to weigh down the switch. Huh? You mean the... Valve status analog. The lock is not smart tech. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. You like that by yourself! All your companions as strong as you? Huh? But they're much stronger than me! Stronger than a chainsaw putting Wade? Oh, losers! Just put it there. Put it there. Just put it there. Just put it there. Huh. The train seems to be going the wrong way today.
Master, Railpath reroute is complete. Great. Let's drop Korin off on the way out. Warning. Hollow exit detected within 100 meters. Huh? Faithin, did you say something? Corin, we're almost at the exit. You'll be able to get out there. Huh? Really? You th th Thank you so very much. Without your help, I'd be lost in this hollow forever. You did pretty good yourself. Thanks to your chainsaw, we really cut a lot of time there. It's my first time meeting a real-life Bing Boo Hollow investigator. Can you p please tell me your names? That's all right. We both had something to gain. Perhaps we'll meet again sometime. Good luck, Corin. So long, Corin. Now, all we have to do is wait for the train to arrive. The train's slowing down. Wait, this isn't the regular route! Everyone, on alert! Now's our chance. Let's jump! Master, the train is about to enter the tunnel. Please make sure that you and your client are ready. This body's even more clumsy than I thought! Just look at these short arms! This window is small, even for Nekomata, and she's basically a liquid. This mission is such a pain, having a dress like this. It looks like this train is loaded with a lot more than just explosives. The news didn't mention any of this. Hey! <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Wait! Oh! I'll tell you when I get back to the store! You're back, sis. Why don't you go get some rest? I'll go check on Eos. Still no news from Nekomata? I haven't been able to get a hold of her. She should still be in the hollow. She said she had a carrot, but the exit is probably pretty far. But it's not all bad. The news just said Vision is putting off the demolition on Canvas Street until at least tomorrow night due to technical difficulties. Well, I can breathe a little easier when you put it like that. Still, it's so weird. Right. Vision must have already realized the train deviated from its original route, but they hid it from the media. What's more, Vision clearly said it was an unmanned train with explosives, but it was full of armed soldiers. They were dressed like public security, but I heard them saying, this mission is such a pain having to dress like this, and yeah. And I've got this feeling that Nekomata's been hiding something from us too. We should ask her when she gets back. But let's not think about that for now. You should get some rest before she gets here. Sinking with the Bangboo can be very draining after all. to the other exit farther away. Oh, right! I saw on my phone that the demolition was delayed. But then the stupid train got away, so Nicole and the others are still in danger. Oh, what should we do now? We need to figure out a plan of action quickly. Nekomata, I know you're anxious. But before we try to rescue the others, we have to talk. Uh, what's going on? Why the sudden change in tone? Nekomata, this is important, so we want you to be honest. What kind of trouble did you and the Cunning Hares get yourselves into exactly? Didn't the news say the train was transporting explosives? Why would it be carrying a bunch of fake PubSec officers? And you reacted so quickly to the enemy. Not like something you would expect from someone in shock. Be honest now, Nekomata. 
Are you trying to pull a fast one on us? Well, about that... If you want faith and support, you'd better answer my sister truthfully and tell us what you're hiding. I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. I really didn't know there were people on that train. It's just that I've seen guys dressed like that somewhere else. You're totally right. The Cunning Harris and I are in big trouble this time. But we just wanted to save people. You never mentioned this before. That's because... It's so ridiculous. I didn't even think I could explain it. We were so busy trying to stop the train earlier. You didn't have time to finish watching the Bang Boo's visual record. But Nicole's Bang Boo actually captured everything on camera. You'll understand when you finish watching it. Starting to get used to the ether concentration here. I wasn't feeling too good when we first got in. Hey, we might not have come across any strong ethereals yet, but the dead end butcher is around here somewhere, so stay on your toes. Especially Billy. You totally got carried away in that last battle. How many times have I told you not to make a ruckus? We need to get to the Red Fang Gang's base and finish this commission. Can't you be more like Nekomada? Fast and quiet? Even if the Dead End Butcher did come along, it might not even notice her at all. <laughs> What's I gotta say? We cat people have nine lives. That counts for something. Everyone wait. You see the railroad tracks on the side of the road? It's not just broken off here. A gaping hole has been clawed out. Oh, she's right! Looks like the Dead End Butcher has been here. We might come across it if we keep going. That's no good. Since there's signs of it here, let's find another way around. Nekomada, will you see if your carrot can suggest another way to the Red Fang Gang's base? Yeah, I can find another route. But the path we're on is the most direct. I know you're anxious to find your family heirloom, but this is no normal mission. Safety first, as they say. What's wrong? You sound like someone stepped on your tail. <laughs> Over there! I saw a little kid run past just now! Huh? What are you talking about? You know we're in the Dead End Hollow, right? There have been cases of small children entering the hollows by mistake. But the direction you're pointing, Nekomata, is the original route we were planning on taking. Hey! You think I'm just saying it to make you take that path? I really did see a kid! A little girl in a blue top with brown hair and a ponytail! Hmm, that's a pretty detailed description. Maybe she really did see her. Even if we believe you saw the child, are you suggesting we go save her first? I should remind you, this is not what we were commissioned to do. What's that supposed to mean? It's not part of the commission, so you'll just ignore a child lost in the hollow? <laughs> I knew you were boring. But cold-blooded, too? If you're worried about not getting paid, don't be. I'm not like you. I'll pay you extra for looking for the girl. <sighs> I didn't expect you to not be a bad person. Oh, uh, huh? Oh, that had me scared just now. When she pointed out the child, I really thought her next line was gonna be... Forget the kid! I want my family heirloom! <laughs> <laughs> but this kitty's a kind employer. If you really are determined to save the girl, Nekomata, then I'll go with you. Epi! You should at least ask me when it comes to commission fees. <sighs> Guess it can't be helped. But I agree, we can't just leave a kid in a place like this. A kid's aptitude for ether is underdeveloped, and she can't save herself. Every minute spent in the hollow is dangerous. Not to mention the dead end butcher is around here somewhere. Then <laughs> let's get going! Time and space change fast in the hollows! If we don't hurry, we'll never find her! What are you waiting for, Nekomata? Let's go! 
Uh, oh, coming! They really seem to be sincere. Uh, oh man, why am I thinking about this now? There are so many ethereals around. It really worries me. Luckily, I didn't see any signs of them on the way over. Still, hopefully we can find her, and fast. the cat that sees her. I know Thyrans have better vision than normal people, but my visual components are pretty good too. Hey, do you all think there are more and more claw marks around here? We've been coming across stronger ethereals too. Now that you mention it... We can't keep going like this. How can we save anyone when we're in danger ourselves? Nekomata, are you sure you saw her? Why is the hollow changes so quickly? By the time we've gone over, things have already warped. But if we want to catch her, you guys just need to keep up. Negative. We don't have the physical advantages when it comes to running like you do. In our current situation, we should reserve our energy to escape if we encounter the dead end butcher. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? You talk about saving people, but when the time comes, you can only think of yourselves. That's not true. Really? Then you mean you aren't confident in your abilities? I can't pretend I didn't hear that. If I get serious, even Billy using his fuel reserves can't beat me. I can't pretend I didn't hear that, Andy. No problem then. We'll just run after the girl from now on. I'm more than happy to. What? Wait! Isn't anyone gonna ask my opinion? From the looks of it, we're already deep within the Dead End Hollow. Weren't you the one who said the only way to catch up with the kid was to run? Now you're the first to complain. On second thought, this area is about to be demolished, so the residents should have been evacuated. How did it- uh, th th There's no such thing as g g ghosts And don't do movie promos at a time like this! Really, can you guys not say stuff like that? Wait a sec! It's a kid! Don't run! Wait for us! Huh? Wait, that can't be right. There really is a kid in the dead end hollow. Hurry! Faster! We gotta keep moving! The girl's just up ahead! Shot. Uh, 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 
It's okay. Everything's... Ooh, why are you wandering around that monster's territory? If I hadn't led you here, you'd have walked right into it. If it weren't for you guys, I might have found the Hollow's exit back to New Eridu by now. Uh, an ethereal? That's the dead-end butcher? He's a lot... It's catching up! We've got nowhere left to run! Ah! <laughs> A pretty risky, but cool landing. Ah, good. The kid's okay. Nicole! I hear you! I've barely been sitting on you for a minute. Stop complaining. Huh? Isn't this... Canvas Street? Then these people are... Wait! How many are there? Over a hundred at least! Me and Envy only did a rough count of whoever was willing to come out and speak to us. There could be even more! I thought that Vision said they cleared everyone out days ago. They say they don't know what's going on. They haven't been able to contact anyone on the outside for a week. I'm guessing Vision has set up jamming devices. Yeah, so what is this? When exactly is Vision planning to evacuate everyone? Children, you must be coming from the city. Are you bringing any news? Excuse me, who are you? Oh, the little girl you just saved from the Hollow is my granddaughter. Thank you for rescuing her. She's always been naughty. She thinks she can sneak into the hollow safely just because she's got ether aptitude. Yesterday, because a public security officer wouldn't tell her the exact time, she came up with an idea to go to New Eridu and ask around. I took- Um, excuse me, an officer? Did you say an officer came by? Yes, that's right. Yesterday, my granddaughter and a few neighbors got tired of waiting and headed to ask Vision what was going on. But an officer stopped them before they got there. They said nobody could get through because explosives were being handled nearby. And once things were ready, a train would be coming for us. Most of us here are old, sick, and disabled. Other than my granddaughter, none of us have any aptitude for ether, so we can't go anywhere. We but it doesn't make sense. How can something as big as a mass evacuation of residents not be scheduled in advance? They just and I haven't heard of public security being involved in the project before. Miss, you mean to say... That public security officer who stopped the residents is suspicious. Huh. There has to be more to it than this. I remember them saying Vision Corporation won the bid thanks to a much lower cost. I get it. The Metro Renovation Project is one of the most talked about in New Eridu. It's technically and financially demanding, and they still have to relocate the residents. But if Vision just dealt with the residents along with the demolition, that it'd save costs. So what you're saying is Vision has just abandoned us all here? Vision always wanted to perform well enough to enter tops, but I never thought they'd stoop so low for a seat at the table. No! We can't let Vision get away with this! <sighs> Nicole, what do you plan to do now? Uh, I didn't expect this when I took on the commission. Fine, sure, we came into the Dead End Hollow looking for something, and yeah, saving a kid along the way is a good thing, but... Oh... A small, odd job agency can't take on a massive corporation. So, what do you two think? I'll do whatever you say, boss. But, Ambi... I didn't expect to agree with Nekomata on this matter. I'm staying. I understand.
understand Nicole's thinking, but I can't follow this time. This is my chance. I won't make the same mistake again. Is that so? Going against a corporation? It Hold at my heartstrings! They're the Vision Corporation! They may be big enough to join the Tops Alliance! Just think of the money we could squeeze out of them if we threaten to expose them! Quickly! Billy, Envy, go tell each of these gold nuggets, uh, I mean victims, that the cunning hairs are willing to represent them in their lawsuit for compensation. Don't just stand there. Get everyone to sign the authorization forms. Collect them one by one. And Nekomara, I know you're our client, but I have something for you to do too. Huh? You want to save everyone, right? You know the area and you're the most agile. Here, take my bangboo. I want you to take it someplace and get help. Okay, that's everything. Nicole told me they'd stay in the construction area collecting victim signatures and monitoring Vision's movements. After leaving the others, I went back through the dead end hollow and came straight to your store. Please, Faithin! You have to help me save them! Yeah, you don't need to tell me that! I made up my mind ever since I left! <sighs> okay, if the client has made up her mind, there's nothing more to say. Take a look at this map. The Cunning Hares and the residents are trapped at the Canvas Street Station, which is several kilometers away from the surveillance point where Pearlman's located. Speaking of which, the train that we delayed earlier is almost at its destination, so there'll be even more people to guard the residents. Look! Those trapped residents have no ether aptitude, so the mercenaries don't expect anyone coming from behind. How clever! The train itself has some resistance to corruption, so as long as we get them out of the hollow quickly, they won't get affected! Yeah! No time to waste. Let's get started then. Nekomata, take this bang boo. Go find Nicole and tell her the plan. Right! Then, it's crunch time! And be here, I've got the last few signatures. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. We were really at our wit's end before you kids arrived. But when is the young lady you sent for help coming back? She's... You're right! I hope she didn't run into trouble. Such concern for us! I'm so happy! Unless you were just talking about Nekomata. That voice! It's the proxy! Sorry to keep everyone waiting! I see. So you planned to stop the demolition by blocking the train, but you didn't expect to find a bunch of vision reinforcements. Huh, this means Vision is at the point of no return. They'll do whatever it takes to stop the residents from getting out. But the proxy's plan to seize the train could work. <laughs> it's true what they say about Faithen's wisdom and courage. Ma'am, you've heard our plan. Now, we have something to ask of you. We need you to get all the residents together at the platform nearby. Don't worry, I'll tell them. When the time comes, they'll be there. Right. By the way, there was an old Red Fang Gang base in the hollow somewhere around here. He What's with the abrupt change of topic? Why do you want to know all of a sudden? Nekomata's commission fee. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, we still haven't found her family heirloom. I, I know the place. Everyone around here knows the Red Fang Gang. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Since they made their name on Canvas Street, everyone here is related to them one way or another. In the early days, they weren't what they are now. Back then, they took in lots of orphans, taught them to read and defend themselves. They, all, they said they'd protect this place forever. Unfortunately, a few years passed and that silver boy changed. He looked down on the slums and led the gang to do some awful things. As things got worse, many in the gang couldn't stand to see what it had become. Many of them left the gang. Soon after, the Red Fang Gang moved out of here. We don't want anything to do with the Red Fang Gang anymore. Silver fell into the hollow while being chased by public security. He only has himself to blame. Huh? What did you say? What's the matter, young lady? We want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with that? No! Not that! You said Silver fell into the hollow being chased by the popsick? Wasn't he killed by the cutting hairs? Uh, well, uh, about that... <laughs> <laughs> Little kitten! <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Client! You can understand, right? We wanted to tell you, but each time you looked at us with those big, cute eyes... <laughs> we're sorry! We were there! But it was public security who did it! Huh? So it wasn't... you guys? Don't worry, Nekomata. Even if public security hadn't intervened, he was no match for the cunning hairs. Ahem. Even though it was you who got it wrong to begin with, we're somewhat responsible as well. How about we give you a small discount on your family heirloom commission? Uh, anyway, let's put this aside for now. First things first, we have to get that train and evacuate the residents out of here. Okay, let's go. We made it. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train is also nearby. To avoid alerting anyone, I found a secret way in. And here it is. Let's get moving. Sure! The Starlight Knight's here to punish the bad guys! It it has to work! This path's blocked. We can't go this way. Let's take the secret way, then. Try to sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithen. You're so prepared. Valve status and the lock. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise. Things going according to plan. Great. The route seems to be going well. Ah, I think the pressure is getting to Ambi. 
She's lost her mind. Not quite. I'm guessing she's humming background music to match the atmosphere. Must have Enough with the soundtrack, Ambi. Everyone knows how important this next fight is. Proxy, we'll leave driving the train to you. Power Pro I've only got a driver's license, but I'll try my best. Don't worry, Master. I'll give you detailed instructions. Then, let's go! Intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. <laughs> this dude has his uses after all. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. Dang. That's you with... Wait. That's Silver. From the Red Fang Gang. That's right. I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy, but one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they adopted. The Red Fang Gang used to have ideals. They all wanted to protect their home. No matter how disappointed I was in the Red Fang Gang, Silver took me in. The Red Fang Gang, but you're not exactly what I expected. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge! I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Uh, Miss Client! Nekomata! Hey! Come back! Nekomata! Nekomata! Envy! Billy! Open the door! We can't, boss! It's too tough! Perlman's people must have reinforced the doors and windows in the car! Damn it! Shh. Listen, there are people talking outside. I've made myself clear, haven't I? Now, I'm gonna take your boss with me on foot through the hollow to New Eridu to negotiate with your command center. At the same time, all your men, all of you, 
will stop blocking the residents and leave with me. So, if you don't want anything bad to happen to your boss, you better find him an anti-corruption device. Nicole! Everyone's counting on you! Uh, we did it! We're out! Son of a... Getting through the door took too long. Nikomana and Perlman have already gone into the hollow! Barry, can you see what's happening in the hollow? Client location found. Based on her current route, she will be arriving at the hollow exit in 30 minutes. So there's no way to stop her? No way. We can't leave saving the residents to Nekomata alone. If Vision is willing to resort to something so underhanded, they won't be easy to deal with. But our plan with the train failed, so how are we going to get the residents out? They don't have any aptitude for ether. Aww. If only there was a way to give corruption resistance to everyone at once! Maybe we can shake things up a bit. Ever hear the saying, if the mountain can't come to us, we'll have to go to the mountain? Ah, uh, I get it. Good idea. It could be dangerous, but it's the only way. Huh? What do you mean? Nicole, Canvas Street and New Eridu aren't that far apart as the crow flies. It's getting through the dead-end hollow that takes so long. If we can shrink the hollow and gain access to the exposed roads, we can get the residents out in one go. Yeah! Then there's a chance! We're good at taking out ethereals! But to reduce the size of the hollow, we'd have to eliminate approximately 3,000 of them. <laughs> Under certain circumstances, the ether activity of certain giant individuals can reach or even exceed the equivalent of thousands of your standard ethereals. You've probably guessed by now. I mean the dead-end butcher. Th that massive guy? He's way too big, however you look at it. If something goes wrong, I won't get to see Monica tomorrow night. <sighs> we certainly aren't a match for it alone. But don't forget, Vision left quite a few weapons lying around. We could help ourselves to some of their ether explosives. Huh. So that's it. We use the explosives to take out the dead end butcher. Huh. It's like you said. A pretty, but we don't have time to think about it. Let's get to work. Okay. The new plan involves using Vision's explosives. All their stock should be in here. Suggestion. Transport it with a vehicle. Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. Warning, Neko Miyamana's biosignal detected. What? Where is she? The target is about to reach the hollow exit.
What's going on here? How did Director Perlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know. But she got hold of Commander Perlman and the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Oops, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomi Omana, but you can call me Nekomara. That's right. I said I would negotiate, so I brought the proper bargaining chips. You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. How about it? And tell the public. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately... We have to hurry. Split into two groups and carry out the original plan. We're going to stall the dead end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay. Let's get the train moving. We've got control of the train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. So empty out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Ambi. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! Gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Take them out in less than 10 seconds with a flying kick! They won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. My predictions were out predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too! Get 
behind the demolition plan. That's not something you need concern yourself with. No! Wait! No! Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Oh, so you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. On my order. Open fire. This just in! A shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation! Public security forces are currently cordoning off the scene and have subdued a number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement! Calling Director Sarah! Calling Director Sarah! We're surrounded by public security! Not just public security, Bellabog Industries is here too! They brought them. <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily, so I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. It's you! W what are you doing? I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? I... Unlimited macro? Then I'll have to think about it! Anyway, thanks to Nekomata's connections within the Red Fang Gang, they won't be coming after us anymore. And I've made progress on what you asked me to investigate. According to the gang, they took part in stealing the strong box, but nobody knows where it actually came from. Apparently, Silver received a commission from a mysterious client. They were told to go to the Institute and get the strong box. But Silver didn't give the gang all the details, like how or to whom they were gonna hand over the box, so- Slow down. Did I hear you right? No one knows where it came from? Mystery client? Nobody knows the details? If you keep phoning it in like this, Nicole, we'll have to reconsider your investigation fee. Uh, d don't do that! I admit, I've been busy with the lawsuit against Vision and pushed back your commission a little. But that strong box is really hard to look into! And I want to help those poor old residents who escape death get compensation as soon as possible. We saved them together after all. Thanks for the guilt trip, Nicole. We'll let you off the hook this time. That reminds me. What happened to Nekomata? I haven't seen her since that day. Ah, that little kitten. <laughs> About that. So she still left. What do you think? It's good, right? Super clear! Come grab one! 
This one's for Wise, and this one's for Belle. Eh? What's wrong? You two look like someone just stole your favorite mackerel! <laughs> Nicole, playing on our heartstrings is a bit much. Don't even think about using the commission fee to cover what you owe. Just pay the 10% today. Get the money, Nicole! <sighs> Have mercy on me! I just wanted to surprise you! Ahem. Let me formally introduce to you the newest member of the Cunning Hairs! I'm Nicole Miyamada, but you can call me Nicomara! I work for the Cunning Hairs! I look forward to cooperating with you both, meow! <laughs> <laughs>